Hello, friends. It's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kids Animal Stories. I am so excited. I haven't slept. I've been waiting for part two of if Nora is going to be able to cross the river with her friend Connor the giraffe. Is she going to be able to choose to be brave? Well, on today's episode, we are going to find out if she can cross the river to get more food. Are you guys ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. There they were, an elephant and a giraffe, standing next to a river about to cross it. Well, I think Connor was. I'm not so sure if Nora was quite ready. Yeah, I just don't know if I can do it. I really don't know how to swim. I don't know how to go underwater. There's a lot of things about water that I don't know how to do, said Nora. Oh, it's okay. I know you can do it, said Connor the giraffe. Just stay with me and then we'll cross together. Hold on to my tail if you get scared. Okay, said Nora. Connor the giraffe was the first to step into the water. Splash, 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 splash. All four of his very long legs stepped into the water. Mm. Nora was nervous. Okay, but I can do this. I can do this. I can't do this! Yeah, I don't know. Nora was still very nervous, and Connor turned around and said, Nora, do you know how to choose to be brave? No, I definitely, I've never done that before. I don't know. I, I normally, I'm just eating grass and delicious berries and fruits. I don't have time to choose to be brave. Well, what if you count to three with me and then we'll walk in together? Count to three? What does that have to do with anything? Yes, I know how to count, but that's not going to help me be brave. Oh, I, of course it does, said Connor. You see, when you say three, you cannot go back. Once you start counting the bravery, it comes into my body uh, when I say the number three, and then I just keep going. So, you are safe. I will not let you drown. You just got to stay with me and count to three. Are you ready? Nora was very nervous, but... She started to count. One, two, here we go. Three. Okay. Splish, splash, splish, splash. Wait. So, okay, that, that part wasn't that bad. Okay, I can keep going. As Nora and Connor continued to walk through the river, pretty soon they were almost to the other side. Wow. Look at this. I don't even have to get my... Whoa. It got deeper there, Connor. What do I do? What do I do? Nora and Connor had already crossed half of the river, but now they were getting to a little bit of a deeper part, and Nora had to do what Connor had told her. All right, now lift your trunk out of the water and just keep breathing because it's like you have a snorkel. Oh, that's such a cool idea that Connor has for Nora. Do you know what a snorkel is? Yeah, sometimes when you're swimming, you can put a mask over your eyes and nose and and put a snorkel, which is a tube that connects to your mouth, and then the snorkel goes up out of the water. Have you ever seen that before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that helps you breathe if even if you're, like, your head is underwater. It's a pretty cool thing, but I guess elephants... She has one built in. That would be so cool. Well, I guess that would mean we'd have to have a really long nose like elephants. I don't know if I want that. But it's pretty cool for elephants that they're built that way because they have a snorkel built in. So as Nora continued to walk through the river, she stuck her trunk out of the water and closed her eyes because the water was now over her eyes. She kept walking and following behind Connor the giraffe's tail. And pretty soon, they did it! They crossed all the way to the other side of the river. 
Nora could now pick her eyes and her head out of the water. They were done with the deep part, and Connor was now getting out of the river. Nora couldn't believe how much fun that was. Wait a second, Connor. Can we go back and forth and back and forth again? Oh, uh, well, of course we can. Connor and Nora spent the rest of the afternoon splishing and splashing in the river. Holy smokes, that is pretty silly to see a giraffe and an elephant splash around in the river together. They make some giant splashes. Oh my, it's it's almost dinner time. Well, it's definitely dinner time. I haven't eaten all day. Nora just realized that it had been several hours of them playing in the river and she still hadn't eaten any food. But that was okay. She had a lot of fun. But now this elephant needs to get back to work and eat some more delicious food. Connor and Nora crossed the river. They made it to the other side, which was full of some delicious food. Wow, that was such an awesome adventure. Have you ever learned to swim before? Yeah, sometimes it can be a little scary to try something new like that. But as long as you're always with a grown-up when you're learning, you never want to learn alone. That's why Nora was with Connor. Connor was a grown-up who had done this before a lot. And so when you're learning to swim, you always do it with a grown-up. And they know how to swim. And so that's how we learn. All right, friends. Well, I hope you have a super duper day. And I hope that you can be just as great of a swimmer as Connor and Nora. The end. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. Wow, that was a cool story about elephants and giraffes. So, what did we learn about elephants? Can we remember? Yeah. First, they're the largest living land animal. Giraffes may be a little taller, but elephants are the heaviest. Can elephants jump? No, they cannot jump. Like me and you, we can jump much better than an elephant. Uh, Do, do elephants eat a lot? Yes, they do. What do you think they like more? Hamburgers or berries? Berries. Yes, they are herbivores. They don't eat any meat. They only eat plants. And lastly, what is a super secret skill that elephants can use their trunks for? Like a snorkel. Yes, when they're swimming, they can stick it out and use it like a snorkel. Great job. Well, my friends, you have a super duper day and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye.